hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed minus 4 divided by 12 is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the integer values of x so uh, here uh, this condition means that we just find all the integral solution of this equation uh, so for this uh, we solve this for the values of x and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in this method we first move this 12 to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 5 and it will be written as 5 times of 12 and now you see here we have this is x cubed minus 4 is equals to this is 5 times of 12 and 5 times of 12 uh, becomes here 60. And now further in the next step uh, here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as x cubed is equals to 60 plus 4. So we know that 60 plus 4 becomes here 64. And because we solve this problem for the values of x, so that's why we uh, write this 64 as 4 cubed. And now we replace 64 equals to 4 cubed. So after replacing this, it will be written as x cubed is equals to 4 cubed. And now here we move this 4 cubed into the left hand side and it will become 4 cubed x cubed minus 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So now you see here this equation will become the cubic equation and here uh, we apply the cubic formula to solve this equation. So you know about that if we have a cubed uh, minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. And you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So, according to uh, this cubic formula, we expand our above equation. Uh, so, uh, here first we have a minus b, the value of a is x minus, the value of b is 4 into. Again, we have a squared, the value of a is x and it will become x squared plus ab, the value of a is x and b is 4 plus b squared. b is 4 squared and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 4x plus 16 is equals to 0. From here we easily get the value of x is equals to 4 this is the our uh, first integer values of x and now here in order to find the other integer values of x we need to solve this quadratic equation so here first we will check that is this quadratic equation has integer solution or not so for this we just use here the quadratic formula to find the roots of this equation first we write the coefficient of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 so these are the three coefficients of the given equation and here we uh, just state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here so after substituting these values it will be written as first we have minus b the value of b is 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a and a is equals to 1. So here we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus square root of this is 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus this is 4 times of 16 and it is divided by 2. And further we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of here we need to take common 16 inside the square root and we get here 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and now further in the next step we have this is minus 4 plus minus 
here we know that square root of 16 is equals to 4 into this is 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we just uh, uh, you just see that we have negative sign appears inside the square root so uh, it will becomes here iota and uh, uh, also we break this fraction and it will be written as minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So after simplifications we will get here these are cancelled out by each other 2 times of 2 becomes 4 we have minus 2 plus minus this is also 2 times of 2 is 4 we get 2 times of square root of 3 iota. So here you clearly see that this is complex root and it is not belongs to integer because we solve this problem for only integer values of x but here this is complex value of x so uh, we rejected this case and we have only one uh, integer solution uh, of this problem and that is x is equals to 4. So this is the only one integer solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.